Hey, what's up y'all so uh had a good day so far kind of just chilling right now and um so um yeah this is just gonna be a video probably like 20 minutes maybe 30 minutes maybe like a solo vlog i mean not a vlog a podcast you could say i guess i don't know just sitting there and having a long conversation uh with the video um or we're just making a video of me talking for a while even though there's nobody with me so i guess it's a conversation with you guys part of it is just talking to myself and working my thoughts but what i wanted to say is that um i'm still parked over here at the parking lot where i park this hat fits funny huh well i have a big head so it just was gonna fit funny anyway no matter what hat i wear but it fits like it's like i like it just covers my hairline so that's cool um shout out bass pro they are the sponsors to this video. Appreciate y'all hooking me up with the free hat. But um, oh, and Chanel too. Chanel, and I believe that's Nautica. Isn't that Nautica? Looks like a sale, right? Sponsors: Nautica, Coco Chanel, Bass Pro. Um, I just smoked a joint, so I'm a little stone. Shout out to Odin, my friend Odin, and um. I forgot to watch that. I went to the laundry room today, but so I wanted to make a video yesterday. Um, I don't know if you could tell. I don't know if you know me that much, but I know within myself that I feel a lot better than yesterday. Run my window up just in case. You just never know. But um, oh, I got a new shirt today. I bought it from my friend Odin. Look at marijuana zombie. It's pretty neat, no? actually looks pretty it's pretty artistic and pretty wild actually what's that comedy you're not gonna take this oh my god it's so demonic it's so demonic nah. this looks pretty trippy to me oh there's a car parking right there i don't know who it is it looks like a dude's car it's like why you want to bother me uh, oh so, uh, they have a friend coming oh yeah they're parking right next to him and those people came from across from over there Anyway, I'll see who it is. Hopefully, they're like gonna go on a date or something. But um, I have something to say as a father. Um, oh, kind of an update about my daughter. I don't want people to kind of like keep an eye on me, you know. Oh yeah, so uh, I talked to my sister, and she spoke to my uh, my daughter's mom. Uh, I have, a, I have a kid, you know, I would never hide my kid from a female, you know. But, um, you know, I'm sure you, parents, you deal with that, you feel me? But, so my daughter has asthma. And uh, her mother has asthma. But it's kind of weird because my daughter doesn't really communicate. She's still a little kid, so she doesn't communicate. She doesn't know what asthma is to say, yeah, I have asthma, so... My thinking was, I'm not gonna tell her, hey, you have asthma. Like, I wasn't gonna be like, hey, you have asthma. I, I didn't, didn't wanna do that. Like, I don't want her to get that she has something going on, right? But she does have a struggle when she runs, she does tend to cough. So, whether we wanna put a label on it or not, there is a medicine out there that kind of helps her. So, I'm gonna, and, you know, where it is is that she's been feeling sick, she's been having a cough. So, they said if it continues, then it must be the asthma. She's gonna get on some sort of medication for that. And so my next step is not to argue with that. Um, it's to let her, I wanna get her comfortable. Hey, when you're coughing, this is to help you. So if you need it, don't be afraid to use it. Like, and I'm not gonna be against it. Like, oh, I'm against medication. Like you can't take no cough syrup, you know, because it's gonna help you feel relieved in the moment. Like, uh, yeah, I'm a scientist, so I don't know if it's good. To not take medicine because sooner or later you'll be so strong we can never get a cough again i don't know you know i don't know what's right i i just don't want her to feel a certain way um i don't want her to i don't know uh, i want to get her to realize that her, her lung she's still little her lungs are gonna grow and she, and she doesn't have to be on that but she could maybe figure out her tempo you know figure out her tempo um, but I'm also not trying to push her. I want to push her to have a healthy lifestyle, to 
not let herself get out of shape totally. And if she can't really run like how I run, that's how I kind of keep in shape. You know, I don't, but you, there, there's weights, you know, there's different alternatives. So, I mean, as a parent, I'm trying to like realize that too, you know, not to worry, you know. And like, not to worry and like, the most, cause most important is her happiness, you know, her, her, her mental health and shit. Now, who is it though? I don't know. Oh, I don't know if it's her friends, I think, but oh, it's a group of people gonna go hiking together. So, um, I hope so. Last time I think it's the people that kind of spooked me out last time. I thought they were police, like undercovers, trying to like see what's up with me. Like I'm a criminal enterprise or something. But um, that's just me be paranoid. I just kind of like, man, like, is it cool that I just like, you know, I'm not asking people for money, I'm not stealing, but I just hang around, you know? Like, I don't know how people feel, but. So that's just me, like, I got the update on my daughter, you know what I mean? I got the update about her asthma. And it kind of sucks that she has asthma. <laughs> but I think people with asthma, they still, do activities and if my daughter really I want to be aware of it but if she really does enjoy something and she but there's gonna be obstacles like if she really does something that's like an activity or she finds herself getting tired from it it's still your own pace like it's still your you can still do that activity sometimes it's oh we can't keep up that we can't keep up with them we, we can't we're not as fast as them or I'll never be able to do that because I'm limited here no, you could still do it. Like, I want my music. Like, I don't have to be the greatest, but I can still do it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be the fastest runner, but I enjoy the act of it. You know, so, um, I want to tell her that. I want to let her know. Halloween. What I'm saying now is more real than even the moment where I push you a little too hard in your life and you're like, ah, but you said that. Like, that's just me being selfish you know um because i'm a little afraid in the future when Halloween tries to do something that will still maybe be a little too rough you know i think that's a situation parents go through though to be honest but my most importantly i want her to be happy um, i guess this helped me like i'm not disappointed she's on she she has asthma her mother it's a hereditary thing most of the point, I just want her to do something that she's happy, you know? Which takes me to another part. Uh, people, where is it? And they left. All right, cool, cool. We kind of getting to know each other because uh, uh, last time they were here, they kind of like, maybe they heard me talking, then not talking. Because they're really parked right here. They're like parked super close to me. And I didn't steal from them last time, so I think they trust me. But when I leave here, I'm not responsible for shit, man. When I'm here, I feel like I could, if someone's like gonna bring into the shit, I could kind of be like, hey, bro, they were cool people's dog. Ah, Still from somebody else. I, I could go talk to the robber, you know? The burglar, I could be like, hey, bro, <laughs> they're cool people's dog, but if you do it, I ain't gonna snitch on you, dog, but they're cool people's. But um, my car was on. I was charging my Obama phone, my Biden phone. Um county phone the los angeles county phone they give you shout out bass pro shops man shout out all the fishers out there i am a poser haven't gone fishing but i do like fishing i respect the game just like i respect uh anything really like golf and volleyball and... like my family members when i was younger i was like you guys like golf i didn't understand it i was too young at the time It's because they were into playing golf. That's why they like golf. Not everything else around it. Like, oh, what team you like, you know? Uh, you know. I guess they were teaching us pride back then, you know? Oh, you gotta learn pride. But pride is bad. Pride keeps you out of... Unlimited. Pride keeps you out of limitless. There's a such thing as a limitless. It's how, it's, it's how you limit yourself. Like, not everything, too much of anything is bad, right? So that's what I mean. Life should be limitless. And it is. And 
you should have your own gauge on that. That's it. Um, also, it was actually yesterday. I wasn't sure if it was today because I went to another shopping center today. But yesterday, I went to go to Subway. Um, and I'm, I'm, ahead of me was a lady with her little child and um, a little girl. She was small, but she had a school uniform on, so it only proves that she's a student. A cop's passing me, but right now as I'm speaking, I don't really like to look too much, but because I can see inside my truck pretty much right now. And um, so I noticed, you know, I, I seen them. The reason why I knew it was a mom and her daughter was because when I pulled up, I seen them walking and I had to be alert because I was in the parking lot about the park. And then I get out, you know, make sure everything's closed but like i said they were walking through the parking lot so by the time i got out of my car they were in front of me but they hadn't walked inside the door yet now i'm minding my business and then i hear a phone a phone falls like you know you hear something falling around like and then so i you know i look but not to like be like nosy just like uh, just acknowledge the look you know or acknowledge the drop but then i, I like the mom like I grabbed the, I guess the daughter must have picked up the phone. So the, I think the daughter, now that I'm talking about, the daughter dropped it. She picked it up because the mom, like, you know, when you're like, you're talking, you get the bent down because she's little when you look him in the eyes. So she was like, but she was scolding her, like, you need to cut it out or like, you need to stop it. Or, and I think, because now that I'm talking about it, but at the, yesterday I was just in the moment and it really fucked me up because. When she said that to her kid, and I was aware, I don't know if it's was faded and I was more in a compassionate state, is that um, I look at the daughter after the mom, like just like scolds her and then turns around to walk, keep continue walking in front of her because the daughter is pretty much following her. And I look at the daughter and uh, it just crushes me, man. It like just crushed me, like, I could just, even from behind, looking at the daughter, I could just see her head look up because she's short and looking at her mom and she's walking away and like, what am I doing? Like, what did I do wrong? I dropped the phone. Like, like maybe even like, what's up with my mom? You know, her mom has already had a vibe in the car and her mom's fucking just tripping on her thinking she is, maybe she's like, and who knows what the mom's thinking? Maybe the mom's thinking she just feels like inadimate and or inadequate feeling lonely wishing she had a man even fucked up thoughts like she maybe she wishes she wasn't a mother you know we're humans you know and that and there's no difference between that thought and saying i wish i wasn't alive no more like there's no difference in, in the, the necessary need of you deserve it like this is life like what are you tripping on the best thing is your kid that's like the greatest gift no human can give you that. No human can give you that gift of being a child. No no human gave me sperm. No human gave you your eggs inside. No human gave you that. And who even gave you the option to choose whether to have sex with that person? You didn't give yourself the option. Or you want to be doubting yourself. You didn't give yourself that option. You didn't give yourself choice. What do they call it? discretion it just killed me I wanted to tell that mom like hey it's all good 